but I, I was just in shock. I couldn't believe it. Another top story this morning, a young man fighting for his life, his family in disbelief, and investigators looking for answers. St. Paul police say Ray Weintraub was simply out for a walk in St. Paul last week when he was jumped by what appears to be a group of teenagers. On Friday night, four people were arrested in connection to the beating. Five Eyewitness News reporter Catherine Johnson is live at Regents Hospital this morning. And Catherine, the victim is facing some pretty serious injuries. Joy and Tom still here this morning in critical condition with severe brain swelling, possibly fatal brain swelling. Ray Wittstrand's family is here at Regions this morning, nearly a week after that beating, sitting by his side. The 26-year-old was rushed here after police found him bleeding in the street with severe and potentially fatal brain swelling. They believe he was robbed, beaten, and left for dead by a group of teens investigators associate with local gangs. Witnesses say they saw Whitstrand walking home past the intersection of Preble Street and Minnehaha Avenue around 11.30 Sunday night when he passed a large fight. When police arrived, they saw 40 to 50 people scatter, leaving Whitstrand on the ground unconscious and bleeding. Three juveniles have been arrested in connection to Whitstrand's beating along with 19-year-old Isaac Maiden, identified from a still shot taken from a camera in the area. Maiden is charged with assault and aggravated robbery. He's being held at the Ramsey County Jail, and St. Paul police expect more arrests. They were young, I'm talking 13, 14, 15. These were some young kids out there. It went from just an, uh, 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 a lot of commotion to a crime scene. I couldn't believe it. I had a hard time with that. And then somebody from my work uh, took me to the hospital. And here at Regions, this is where his mother waits, hoping her son will pull out of critical condition. Now, police believe there are more arrests to be made, and they urge you, if you have any information on this situation that happened last Sunday night around 1130 in St. Paul near Minnehaha Avenue, they're asking you to call that number up on your screen right now. That's 651-266-5650. You can also find that number on our website, kstp.com. Live in St. Paul, Katherine Johnson, 5 Eyewitness News.